What's up traders, Matt from the Trade Brigade here with your weekend crypto report where as always I do a technical analysis and give you my thoughts on the coins listed up above. There have been no major changes to our watch list so we're going to dive right in and kick things off with our Bitcoin daily time frame chart. I would first point out that obviously as the ruble over in Russia collapsed there was a huge surge of demand for Bitcoin and then as Jerome Powell comes out and says hey we still need to regulate this stuff there's kind of a downturn here so that might be some sort of fundamental reasoning for for what's been going on on the chart. It's a little bit too fundamental for my own liking. As you guys know, I'm a pretty uh, firm believer in the technicals, right? So to me, I see nothing more than just a channel, right? If we look at this in a sideways channel, we're smack at the midpoint of the range, okay? So here's a disclaimer for the entire video. Many of the things that we're about to look at today look exactly like this. So if you don't want to hear the levels, if you don't want to hear me sound like a broken record, then fine, listen to Bitcoin, then move on. But if you are interested in the levels and the potential patterns, stick around, but I'll just give you that disclaimer now. Again, lots of these coins are stuck in the midpoint of their overall range. And if you've been watching the channel, and by channel, I mean the YouTube channel, you know that I always say that your edge is not here in the midpoint. Your edge is literally at the edges for a breakout or a mean reversion type trade. Same thing at the bottom, mean reversion type trade or a breakout breakdown. Being at the midpoint, you're bound to get chopped up one way or another if this can't make up its mind, right? You don't have anywhere where you can clearly place a stop loss, okay? So that's all I'm getting at uh, in terms of location here on our Bitcoin daily. The levels that we need to pay attention to, top end of the range here, $45,800 per coin. If this holds for a higher low, that's a possible long scenario if we can reattempt the top end in short proximity of time. On a break there, we're looking for our next daily structure at 51,500 coming from this prior shelf of resistance, right? That's if the uh, range here pans out to the upside after a higher low from here to here. OK, that's the bull play. If it's going to be a bearish trade, then obviously it's continuation here. We would need to form a lower high, equal low and then continue to the downside I until we can form that lower high. And again, maybe it does something like this off the midpoint of the range. We'll see. Until we form that lower high, I would not just assume that we have to crack this level, right? And that brings me to the next point. Even if it does move lower, there's still an opportunity down here for long-sided trades, right? If so, if we do something like this and we start printing hammer candles on the daily or just large lower wicks that would indicate the buyers are stepping up, maybe it's long over the highs, looking to retarget the top of the range with a stop under the lows, right? This risk reward here definitely makes much more sense, correct? So that's one possibility as well if you're looking to play Bitcoin long over the coming week. Okay, patience and that level down below is $34,350 per coin. The midpoint is, of course, 40K even. If we look below us for our next support, let's say that this breaks, we know that 30K Bitcoin is the target coming from this big historic shelf here. Okay, so that's the down and upside inside of Bitcoin, as well as a couple of scenarios that could pan out again, the higher low or coming all the way back down for an entry here looking for mean reversion. All right, so that's Bitcoin. Let's continue along again. I know that many of these charts will look similar, but we'll just take it one step at a time for now. Ethereum slightly different. I'll give you that, um, noting that we clearly have these lower highs continuing to develop. So that's actually a little bit more bearish, correct? We do have equal lows here and here. So if we can reattempt that again after a lower high, even if we get another one that looks like this, we've just drawn in an H pattern, right? We're looking for the flush underneath 2310 to take us to. If we scrunch up the chart, notice that this is the equivalent of the 30K Bitcoin level. That's 1774 inside of Ethereum. So quite a ways to fall if that breaks at 2310. As of right now, again, I'm not really seeing a reason to go long. We are, you know, at this shelf of support. If we start printing a pattern down here or some type, uh, type of hammer candle or indecision doji down here, maybe that's a long entry over the highs for a move back here to that high with a stop under the low. That's possible. But given the nature of these large red bodied candles, I don't really think it's wise to be bottom fishing here. There's nothing that would indicate that we're going to turn at this very nuanced level, right? Technically, the lower wick from that panic day right here is all the way down there for that equal low at 2310. So that's Ethereum in a nutshell. Uh, we are continuously getting rejected from this resistance trend line right here. You can see one and two and three fake break firmly back down underneath. Okay, so that's something to carry forward as well. Ethereum, uh, again, not really seeing a reason to go long as of right now. You could even start to just say, hey, this is the range. We're in the lower third, right? That has to be more bearish than bullish as well, being that we're underneath the 50% mark. So that's that one. Let's continue along. Binance coin is up next. This one, more of a range, just like Bitcoin. Here you go, kind of in the midpoint. Point, correct right here uh, what I do think is interesting about this one though is that this was a prior level that was very very nuanced you can clearly see resistance support we break it try to hold there for a second but now we're back down underneath I would imagine we at least get a rotation to here and let's go ahead and find that level together 
That's going to be roughly at uh, 357.90, call it 358 even for round number's sake. Reassess the chart when we get there. Obviously, our equal lows in the bottom of the true channel is here around 335.30. So keep that in mind. But maybe if we do something like this, it's a higher low from here to here. And it's just one more nuanced piece of information. Sure, we do have highs, a nuanced lower high. But if we can get range compression, so something that does this, then we can start to draw in some trend lines and play it as a triangle, right? So be patient inside of Binance coin. Wait to see if that happens. If range is compressing, pr compressing, there we go. Draw some trend lines, wait for a break. If not, and we get the equal low, uh, then I would just play the range, right? Just like we talked about in Bitcoin, here's your balance area. Wait till we get here for this or this or wait till we get here for this or this. It's as simple as that. And again, I know I sound like a broken record, but it just is what it is in our coins given the current state of all these charts. Cardano, much more bearish. Obviously, strong daily downtrend. Nowhere near the primary resistance trend line. Clear lower high off of prior support. Support here as well. Bearish indication, right? Lower high, lower high, lower high. Equal lows at this uh, 80 cent mark. If that breaks, we know that there's quite a ways to fall in Cardano if I scrunch the chart way up. Thin structure on the way up here. Next shelf of prior resistance, which may act as support. We don't even know if it will. That's at 41 cents, okay? So this is not the trade to be looking for longs in right now because if this breaks, right, not to insult anyone's intelligence, but 80 cents down to 40 cents, that's about a 50% loss. And then to regain that, just to get to break even, you would then need a 100% gain, correct? So not really a wise decision inside of Cardano unless you're a very disciplined trader, right? So if we start printing some sort of bullish reversal pattern off of this, maybe it's long over the highs looking for this. Stop needs to be under the lows. And if you can't stick to a stop loss, this is not the trade for you because it very well could just continue on downward, okay? That's Cardano. Next up, we have Solana. This one, we have multiple fanned out trend lines. I wanted to illustrate that this has broken really sideways through time, but our secondary, so the tertiary breaks sideways through time. That's gone. That's no longer important, right? Secondary still is in effect. You can see anchor, touch one, and we're getting into it right here. Uh, overall, if you were to just draw this in as the equivalent of Bitcoin, here's your sort of range, right? And we're clearly at the bottom end off of a lower high, right? So here, here, and there. So lower highs equal lows sets up a descending triangle slash flush point. It's not looking great for any longs here inside of Solana. Uh, if it does hold and does something like this, fine. I would just start to treat this as a double bottom, which means patience, your long is up and over 120 to get us to the next resistance trend line. Maybe that ties in nicely over the course of time with this 145. But what I've just drawn out and laid out here is, is extremely speculative. There's nothing about the chart currently that would suggest that's a likely outcome, right? You can see big red bodied candles coming in to that equal low off of a lower high. That would no doubt about it be a descending triangle. Break this and we're easily headed back down towards 66, even coming from prior support here in that uh, flag, okay? So that's what we've got to the downside. Anything underneath, 50 bucks inside of Solana, okay? So $50 Solana might be here sooner rather than later if this pattern pans out. You can easily see how that looks reasonable given the nature of how this thing moves, right? So that's Solana to the down and upside, but upside's not really looking like the most likely probability into the weekend. Link is up next. This one, sort of similar to Solana. Clearly, you have the lower highs building. If it is gonna turn into a double bottom, it's gotta be long over the neckline, which is here, closer to 20 bucks. Wouldn't suggest that, right? There's nothing about the chart that would say that's a likely outcome. Instead, we have the equal lows, right? Lower highs. If this breaks down around 1336, you're looking for the move here into 1050 coming from, if I scrunch up the chart this time, you can see a shelf of support here. And if that one breaks, let's just find one more down below, roughly 880, okay? So those are some downside levels to be paying attention to in here. Uh, if we do get the moves lower, by the way, and this stands for any coin, then just watch to see what the reaction is at these levels. These are not levels that you buy on a first touch. You need to see something that either forms structure down here, double bottom, break of the neckline takes you back higher for only, again, don't push your luck to the upside, only a back test of the breakdown point. That's one thing to watch out for. Could be an inverted head and shoulders right? Still neckline break takes you back higher or the really, really aggressive, but disciplined. Those two things have to go together. Trader could take a long off of a hammer candle that prints here, looking for longs over the top, stop under the low. Again, this, this doesn't accurately depict the range that it'll actually happen in. But if you start to see that type of structure around these levels, it's something to watch out for. Okay. So that's link coin in a nutshell. Let's continue along. Talk about polka dot. This one, Again, maybe I shouldn't have, uh, you know, said that everything's in a channel. Maybe I should have said everything's a descending triangle because if you look at this, let me get that back on the screen. Sorry for that. You can clearly see lower highs, flat lows, lower high, lower high, lower high, correct? If you're walking to the right 
And if this breaks at 16 bucks, we flush all the way down towards 1275. After that, we have 1050. Same thing stands that we just discussed on link. If we were to make the downside move, you need some sort of pattern down here to then get involved to the upside, right? It needs to present some sort of reversal pattern. Otherwise, you're trying to fight a very aggressive daily downtrend, right? Look at this thing absolutely collapsing off the highs down over 50%, right? So that's what we've got inside of Polkadot. Again, uh, I would just reiterate if it's going to be a double bottom here, patience until you get back to the neckline at 23, and then it's the break, right? As of right now, nothing about the chart would suggest that. I'm just throwing it out there as a potential scenario uh, in case there's some sort of magic reversal that occurs over the weekend. Again, does not look likely. Continuing along here, talking about crypto.com coin. This one, uh, again, lower high, a bit of a compression of range though. So this is interesting. Uh, here we go. If we draw on a resistance trend line that would look something like that, you just get the sense that unlike everything else that we've seen, oops, come on, there we go. Um, unlike everything else we've seen, we do technically have higher lows that are forming instead of those equal lows, but we're threatening that, right? So if this breaks, it's just a move to fill up the triangle. The triangle that we're referring to is this one right here. You make a move to the uh, apex, the right angle, right? Something that looks like that, vertex, apex. I don't know, I didn't master geometry, but you get the gist, right? That is the target there for the equal low at 32 cents. Anything underneath breaks down towards 25 cents, nice round quarter number there, and basically the ICO, initial coin offering at that level, right? So that's a fairly nasty move here inside of uh, crypto.com coin. Uh, if it's going to be a reversal, it needs to hold on to the support trend line, and then it's got to break the resistance trend line, giving us a higher high, and then you can target this. That might be the more interesting trade to watch out for if we get some sort of uh, you know move back to the upside over the weekend. Your target's roughly 50 cents, all right? Again, just like everything else we've said, uh, every other coin we've looked at so far, the two big red-bodied candles would not indicate any sort of reversal here, but if we can print a hammer, like let's say that we get a bit of a fake break of the support trend line, something that looks like this almost, right? If we get that to print down here and then we can recapture in short proximity of time i would still count this as your high or low right and then you're watching can we get to that resistance trend line and potentially break it to get into this horizontal level around 51 cents all right that's crypto.com coin matic for uh our our gaming coin right this is a gaming coin what do we have here descending triangle just like the rest of them here's your highs anchor touch one sort of two three for the lower high equal lows around that 134 it is if that breaks and again it does look likely that we're at least going there because of the two big bodied red candles if that breaks what do we have underneath us for support let's pop auto on there we go Supports here around a dollar, all right? A dollar and one cent if you want to get technical with me, right? So 34 cent move to the downside is available if this breaks off of the lower high. And again, based on the daily trend, the recent trend, right? Something that looks like this, lower highs. If we're just going to get trend continuation, the equal lows should break and we should make it to that next structural element, right? Nothing about this would suggest a turnaround, but if there is a break of both of these things at the same time, so the horizontal prior support that then flipped into resistance right here at 163, if there's a magic turnaround, again, doesn't look likely, but if there's a magic turnaround, this break could get interesting for a move to this lower high, right? You're just going to target that next lower high. You're not going to overstay your welcome. Uh, and that level is 187, right? That's Matic in a nutshell. Luna up next. What do we have going on here? The best coin we've got on our list, right? And we even mentioned this last week as we were doing the analysis. Not only did it produce the higher low here, but it did take out the double bottom neckline before everything else, right? So I really like the relative strength here. Gave us a beautiful bull flag up here. Is it going to give us another one is the question. Okay, so any pullbacks, we should take out the Fibonacci's and just get a sense for where should we expect pullbacks to go, right? If we do something like that, I mean, guys, I can't make this stuff up. Thing of beauty, prior breakout point right here is the 38.2 retracement of this overall move from there to there. So anything that holds this level, let me clean that up. You get the sense where the fibs are, right? That level is 79 bucks. Anything that pulls back and does this, Fine, perfect, beautiful, nothing more than healthy bull flag consolidation for this overall move right here. That's the context that we're looking at. If we take out the top, obviously it's just a move here. I believe that's the all-time high, yes. So that would be the target. Let's go ahead and grab the tool and put that up there. That's gonna be around 103. Anything uh, you know after that, you're just monitoring whole and half dollars, intraday levels that do form. If this breaks the top end of the flag, I would even give it a little bit more leeway. Just noting the relative strength here, you do wanna see it hold on to the bottom end of the first bull flag from right here though, around 71.50. Okay, so that has to be the line in the sand. Anything underneath that is easily a rotation back to the neckline breakout point here around 58. So good relative strength in Luna. Definitely have this one on your watch list. If you're looking or itching for a crypto trade this weekend, 
stick to where there's relative strength. Don't try to time the bottoms in any of those other coins that you know aren't really exhibiting the nice price action that we like to see. So this one, keep it on your watch list. Let's round out our sort of uh, crypto coins here with Mana USD. This of course is Decentraland. I wanted to have something involved in the metaverse, right? You can clearly see from the all-time high, lower high, lower high, lower high, yet again, equal lows, giving us a descending triangle. Obviously, if that level breaks 236, you're looking for the rotation here to the, uh, you know, really swing low, pivot low, all important low, 182. Needs to hold, otherwise look left, basically no structure until we're back down underneath a dollar, closer to 80 cents, all right? That would be a fairly ugly move here inside of Decentraland, but it could happen, right? There's nothing saying that it can't happen. As of right now, the bears do seem to be in control with these lower highs that are continuously being produced. Uh, sure, you could look at this as a higher low, um, but I would, I, you know, this to me strikes me as more of an anomaly. You can see shelf of support, fake break, supported here, supported here. So we'll see. To me, that really is the level 236 to watch out for. If it breaks, there's a heads up. And then after that, we know it's kind of, you know, off to the races to the downside. If again, there's the magic turnaround this weekend for who knows what reason, the break of this 283 does get interesting because it's also a break of the resistance trend line. And then we can target this double top from here at 345. Again, doesn't look likely based on what we have in front of us, but that's the potential trade if there's a magic turnaround. So hopefully today's video was not too boring. Uh, you know, it's tough to, tr uh, uh, it's tough to um, track and do analysis on a pretty, you know, rough market right now. No one really wants to be involved in crypto, but it must be done. You got to keep tabs on it. That way, you know, when the opportunities start to present themselves, you don't want to be chasing it at the highs. You want to see when the double bottoms form at these supports and get in closer to the bottom, right? So it's as simple as that, all right? That's going to wrap up our video. If you enjoyed it today or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our weekly watch. This video comes out on Sunday as scheduled as planned. And with that being said, I wish you all a green trading week.